His RO, developed by Rocketson to meet the needs of the Turkish Armed Forces, successfully completed its first long-range launch. The successful long-range firing test of the HIS-RO medium-altitude air defense system marks an important step in the platform's capability acquisition in the serial production project. Making evaluations following the firing test activity held on August 14, 2024, President of Defense Industries Prof. Dr. Hailuk Gorgun made the following statements. With the power of our national engineering, we are also strengthening the technological shields of our skies. In the firing test activity carried out within the scope of capability acquisition for the HIS-RO serial production project, the target was eliminated with a direct hit at 40-plus kilometers with the RF Seeker missile fired from the new generation HIS-RO battery in the serial production configuration. At the same time, Gorgun's statement, within the scope of the HIS-R serial production project initiated by our presidency, we have brought performance-enhancing updates in the fire control, command control architecture, transition to IP communication infrastructure, new generation radar capable of detecting the target from a greater distance, advanced guidance control software within the scope of the missile and long-range maneuvering capabilities to the HIS-RO systems, drew attention. Continuing his statements about HIS-RO, Hailuk Gorgon said, we will continue our activities to increase the effective range of the HIS-RO system with its new generation technological gains on top of its current capabilities. On this occasion, I wholeheartedly congratulate our Aselsan and Rocketson engineers and our countrymen who work day and night, bring success and gain new capabilities. He indicated that the platform will continuously develop. The first batch deliveries of the new generation configuration of the HIS-RO system, which is expected to have an important place in the steel dome air defense concept of the Turkish armed forces, are aimed to enter the inventory by the end of 2024.